Here's everything you need to know about the new IKEA K1 Pro Max 48 Watt Laser Machine. Similar to the K1 Ultra I reviewed previously, it uses the same chassis, but with a more powerful laser array and a larger air compressor for even faster cutting. Just like all the K1 machines, it has one click autofocusing and you can drop the Z axis with each pass, enabling for faster and cleaner cuts. It has a touchscreen interface which can also be used to run G code directly from a USB drive. As you'll see later in the video, for a diode based laser machine, the cutting performance is incredible. At the time of making this video, IKEA are discounting the Ultra to $1300 US dollars, which I reckon is a bargain. Or you can use the coupon code PRO50 and grab yourself the Pro Max for $1650 USD. Let's begin by unboxing. The chassis comes mostly pre-assembled, leaving the user to install the x-axis and laser head. This is the mighty 48 watt laser diode array. We also have the touchscreen display, cables and tubing. The Pro Max also comes with this air compressor. And lastly, the pre-assembled X-axis. To assemble the machine, the X-axis is placed on its mounts and the top cover removed, which gives us access to install four screws. Plug the two looms together and then reinstall the top cover. Install the laser head, connect the laser head to the loom, and then the air tubing. Connect the screen which is magnetically held onto the chassis. Insert the key and that's assembly complete. Pretty quick and easy. To control the laser and to generate G-code files, I use Lightburn software. I've already covered how to set up and use Lightburn in my K1 Ultra review video. Link is in the top right corner if you're interested. First I'll perform a material cut test on 6mm MDF. Several squares were successfully cut all the way through, however the cleanest and fastest option I would use is 17mm a second at 100% power with two passes. Next I performed an engraving test on MDF. Based on these results, you can run the machine at full speed while using about 23% power. Let's put these settings to use by burning an image onto MDF. This MDF sheet has been sprayed with a borax and water solution and allowed to dry. This improves the contrast of the image. As you can see, the results are excellent with a high detail image engraved onto our MDF sheet. The K1 can plough through jobs at up to 800mm per second travel speed. 
This means jobs that require multiple tool paths featuring engraving and cutting can quickly be smashed out. Shout out to Ghetto Baselayer for his over-engineered kinetically extending digit design on Instructables. Link in the description. Let's put the rest of these settings to use by cutting out a model gear from an MDF sheet. The total cut time was 2 minutes 18 seconds. The edges were crisp and well defined. For comparison I have the Ultra on the left and the Pro Max on the right. The Pro Max is rated to have 30% more laser output power compared to the Ultra. And the results from this cut test confirm that extra laser power translates into roughly 30% faster cutting. At the time of making this video, the Pro Max is about 350 more than the Ultra. For your extra money, you gain about 30% faster cutting performance. In terms of cut quality and a finished product, the two are identical. Both machines are equally good in terms of cutting capacity. So it really boils down to a speed advantage for the Pro Max, rather than capabilities. Up next is a material cut test on 4mm black acrylic. Based on these results, the optimum cut settings are 17mm a second, 100% power and 3 passes. I know some people will wonder if this machine can cut clear acrylic, but unfortunately it won't. For my last cut test, I wanted to push the machine and see if it can cut 18mm thick pine board. And much to my surprise, it cut through in only 4 passes at 10mm a second. Pretty impressive if you ask me. Before we conclude the video, I wanted to see how these two air compressors compared to one another. First I connected the air compressor up to my power supply to measure the current draw. The Ultra Compressor was consuming around 700 milliamps, and around 1500 milliamps with some back pressure. While the Pro Max Compressor was drawing around 1600 milliamps, and over 3000 milliamps with some back pressure. So we've learnt the Pro Max Compressor draws about double the power but how does that translate in terms of air volume output? To estimate the difference in airflow, I have a 1.5 litre bottle filled with water. I'll take the cap off under the water line and insert the air tube from the compressor. The compressor will pump out the water, allowing us to measure how long it takes to move 1.5 litres of air. Putting the two compressors side by side, the Pro Max compressor is about 60% faster. This extra airflow helps improve the cutting speed by clearing away small particles and smoke from the laser. This maximises the laser's energy on the material being cut or engraved. To summarise, if you already own the Ultra model, upgrading to the Pro Max seems kinda pointless. However, if you're buying your first laser machine, for an extra 350 the Pro Max offers a great performance boost over the Ultra model. If you're looking to buy either machine, I'd be very grateful if you use the affiliate links in the description to help support my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.